What's up lads and ladettes? How are we all doing today? I hope you guys are doing fantastically well. So it took me a few days to figure out the, the recording programs and all that sort of stuff. Essentially, what I'm doing now is I'm using uh, OBS to record the gameplay and I'm using Audacity to record the voiceover stuff. And it seems to me that using the two programs is, is probably the best way to go. I kind of get the best quality and, and everything kind of like just works out. So today we're going to be seeing if we can hunt these maphoids that are down here. We got 60 PED worth of uh, universal ammunition. We got a little bit of that. We got a little bit of ammo and we got, some, uh, got ourselves a LR20. Now I don't expect anything uh, to flash from these guys actually. Uh, you know, if we're lucky, we might get a cool little, might get a cool little swirl. But uh, beyond that, uh, these smaller guys, they're, they're 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 more just because I I, I have fun hunting them, and uh, yeah, as as long as we uh, can we actually take the hits. Nine point one, yeah, that's fine. Nine nine point one, we're fine. They 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 don't get much. They don't. Uh, I think the max here is level twenty. They, they don't have they don't have the warlords or anything like that so I'm, I'm hoping that you can tell but I I have actually I ha I am recording this in uh, 60 FPS so hopefully hopefully the qual is is is, a, is better than previous you know previous recordings and things like that that's kind of that's kind of the hope I'm hoping that uh, with this new setup things run a shitload more smoothly. This will also allow me to uh, work on some games that Bandicam just doesn't record. Not sure why, they just don't record it. Uh, but this will allow me to do sort of higher quality stuff. Just be be higher quality uh, gameplay, things like that. I might even be able to, you know, might even be able to do some uh, extra special you know, extra special stuff at some point in the future, but for now, we're just going to get back into, uh, you know, the swing of recording, the swing of getting content out there, because it's been a hectic few, like, couple of months, and we got some tier 4 components just then, very nice. These guys are good, these guys have some good markup on them, like, whenever I see tier 4 components, or if I'm hunting, um, the, the Thorophoid, yeah, I think they're Thorofold, th Thorofold, th the, the Berserkers. I think they dropped here three components, I believe, and they're, they're they're a fun one. We might actually we might end up hunting them at some point in the future, as well. They're 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 a fun one to hunt. So yeah, we got our LR. We're just using a stand, like just using an LR twenty, and we're using our uh, Viceroy armor. Uh, I I will be out kitting the Viceroy with some serpent scales at some point in the future. Uh, or, or some five B plates. Haven't figured that one out yet. I, I don't know which one I want to go for. I have the incision plates as well for uh, stuff that does more like I think that it does like stab and penetration. Uh, it does a little bit of impact, but it's only like an extra four points uh, of impact protection. So you know, we're going to be using we're going to be using the. Serpent scales that way we can go after some aliens on Crystal Palace as well um, Because those guys they do the acid stuff and Viceroy has acid protection. Yeah 14 and then the uh, Serpent scales give an extra eight or nine so it's either gonna be it's either gonna go up to 24 or 25 one of those it'll go up to one of those and yeah, yeah, we'll just keep going this way. I'd like to avoid other mobs if I can. Um, yeah, that would just be solid if I can avoid other mobs. That would be really cool. That would be really cool. But you know, not always so lucky. Luckily, over here, there's like, I think it's just maphoids, but if you go up that way, you got some buryclids and some subakumas and things like that. Oh, look, there's a subakuma young. At least I know if I uh, ever want to hunt some subakumas, I know where to hunt those guys. But I, I don't hunt subakumas. <laughs> I, I swant the subakuma hatchlings, but I don't actively hunt 
the Subakumas themselves. Um, so, uh, now, now that the recording stuff is actually sorted out, I'm going to be getting into... Uh, I'm going to be recording some Eve this week. And uh, got a couple of uh, responses from my query about Eve as to what you guys want to see. And uh, from those of you that watch Eve content, you kind of want to see the whole nooblet stage all the way up to whatever stage I eventually get to. So I think the Eve recordings are going to be very similar to the Entropia recordings where I pick something that I'm going to do. Yeah, there's some shit on the floor. Literally. Uh, where, yeah. I pick what I'm going to do. Or I re just record the, the the gameplay session and then I condense it down. And, uh, yeah, we're going to, we're going to continue on with, uh, who did we have? Who, it, it was McNoob guy. <laughs> Noobie McNoob guy or something like that. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be continuing on his grand adventure. I wouldn't mind doing, uh, some mining with him actually. I wouldn't mind doing some mining. Mining in EVE sounds like it could be interesting. There, there, there are a couple of other games I'm going to be playing as well. I'm going to be getting into Path of Exile. Um, just because. I'm also going to be doing a Diab- I'm going to be playing Diablo 2. Uh, I've got the- what would you call it? The Enhanced Edition? The- the better graphics edition? The- you know, the- the reforged or- Remastered, whatever the fuck you want to call it. We've also got that that we're going to be cranking on with as well. There's a there's a lot of stuff that's going to be coming out, uh, like that I'm that I'm going to be doing over the next uh, few months. It's 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 going to be fun. It's going to be fun, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it, and and the fact that I'm able to that that I've now sorted out how I'm going to record these things. It's just a lot easier now. <laughs> it's a lot simpler, lads and ladads. I'll, I'll tell you this. Like, f for now. It is so good. You know what else is so good? My wife. My, 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 lov my lovely wife. Yeah, she, is, uh, she does a lot of sewing and all that sort of stuff. And she's recently gotten into making toys. Uh, I'm going to throw a picture of one of the things that she's made up on the screen. Uh, this is Reginald. I stole him. He is now mine. <laughs> he's, he's a little sea flap flap. And, and it's it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Little Reginald. I've got him on my desk, actually. He's just he's just looking at me with the, the, those fucking puppy dog... Puppy dog manta ray eyes. <laughs> and it's fantastic. For those of you that, that don't know, I'm a big fan of the sea pancakes. They're, they're pretty cool. Stingrays are a little bit spooky. Uh, uh, you know, they... I mean, they killed Steve, and uh, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of stingrays. I still like them, and and I think they're cool. But I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of the the big spiky barb that they tend to carry in their tail. Um, that and they also they they killed Steve. Um, but manta rays, the 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 big sea sea flap flaps, the 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 sea pancakes are absolutely fantastic little critters. I say little. Some of them are fucking big, man. Some of them are like real big, which uh, you know is 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 cool. The the ocean has a lot of really big animals in it that are both uh, horrifying, uh, but also uh, super cute. You know, like there, there, there's 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 just certain fish that are just really cute, like um, certain puffer fish. They're just small. In, in, in squishy and you look at them underwater and they got like these stupid happy faces oh man it, it, it's it's it, it's just cool it's just cool now I don't know how well we're doing well, let's see 30 ah oh, we're we're doing fine we're about breaking even with the ammunition so far uh, the, the, the weapon, probably not so much, but, you know, it's only 60 PED. You know, this video is only, it's only 60 PED. These hunting videos that I do for you guys where we just chill and chat and hang out, they're not, they're not a, a, a real representation of what it's like in-game, like, playing the game, like, actively playing the game. You know, a lot of people might think that this is a representation 
of how it goes all the time when in in in, re, in reality this uh you know 60 pd is is just say the beginning of a of a hunt generally when i'm hunting maphoids i'm cycling you know a few th I'm, I'm cycling a few thousand pd not just using 60 pd because it's the amount of mobs that you cycle which is the important part of course with the amount of mobs that you cycle will come the whole uh, amount of PED that you're spending and a lot of people think that it's the amount of PED that you spend that matters But it's it's the amount of mobs that you cycle through that matters, but you know there there will be people that uh, Disagree with that and say no, it's 100% the 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 PED that you spend But you know it's each to their own I guess Each to their own. I had a really good session on Monria today Went over there and I, I was just getting globals back and forth. Didn't didn't make anything. In fact, I think uh, I think I broke even overall. Um, but you know, I found a found a spot that I can like a couple of waves, and I wanted to get all of the cave teleports, which was an absolute nightmare. Getting uh, all four of the cave teleporters, it, it just ugh. talk 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 about like stressful. You know, like. Going through the first two caves was pretty easy, you know, easy enough. And then you get to the second, like, the third cave, and you got those cultists, and they hit pretty hard. And I I'm just using Viceroy, right? They hit pretty hard, uh, so that was a bit of a pain in the neck. And then getting to, uh, like, killing the shubs to get to um, the... Ca Ooh, this, this guy's gonna hit... Like, he's gonna hurt me. Like, go, going, uh, getting through the shubs in the passageway between, um, yeah, between cave three and cave four to get to that, that, um, teleport that's, uh, in front, like, the cave, the cave four teleport. It, it, it was, it was difficult. I mean, I could do it, you know, and I, and I now know I can hunt the mobs in the passages just fine but you know when i was hunting the cultists i was just cultists were just, that was just globals left right and center and then i went and i uh went into cave one and i was using a strong like a relatively powerful like powerful ish it, it's a it's a, it's a mid like mid-range uh daily rifle with an amp on it I was just blasting the shit out of a bunch of them just to build up codex, but to also uh, look around for the chapter, like the chapter one. It's gonna take me fucking ages to finish the uh, or Order of the Elder Gods or whatever it's called. It's gonna take me fucking ages, a long bloody time. But that is, uh, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I, I will say this, right? I will say this, that they are fun mobs to hunt, because there's just so many of them, and you can just blast the shit out of them. You know, I would have ha like I would have happily just sat there. Like if I had the PD, I would have just sat there all day, and just shot the crap out of the uh, mobs on Monria. But I wanted to come back to Cali because Cali's kind of the home base. Cali's kind of where all my shit is. Um, kind of where everything that I kind of need to do is. Uh, I'm gonna be like right now. I'm building up my daily tokens to, uh, yeah, and building up my daily tokens in order to get enough weapons for next mayhem. You know, whether I do Halloween mayhem or Merry mayhem, I'm not 100% certain which one I'm gonna be doing, but I'm gonna be doing one of them, maybe both of them. And you know, the idea is between now and then. Yeah, between now and then, build up some, you know, 60 DPS plus, like, daily weapons. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, building up that, uh, as well as uh, keeping aside the various mayhem amps that I've got, like, that I find in the boxes. Because, uh, you know, I, I buy keys, and then I buy, like, I spend some PED to get the boxes, and... I tend to find those amps, you know, I just tend to find the, uh, the mayhem amps, which is nice. 
Uh, I think we are going to... Shall we cycle? No. Uh, no, I think we're going to... Uh, should we call it there? I mean, it's been 15 minutes. Nah, we'll... We'll cycle. We'll cycle. Fuck it. <laughs> Might as well. Might as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm, I've been getting a, a decent run of the... The amps recently. I've sold the amps, but I've kept. Like, uh, it's only recently that I started keeping them, and I've got one, and then I'll get some more, probably next week, and the week after. And essentially, after I think after this week or fortnight, I'm gonna start keeping. Uh, I'm gonna start building up my ammunition stores. Um, I'm going to start building up my ammunition stores. And then uh, when it comes time for Mayhem, just doing big Mayhem stream. Just doing a big Mayhem stream. Uh, either here on YouTube or on Twitch. Not 100% certain which one. I would like to do Twitch. But Twitch is a little bit... Um, some of the stuff that they're doing is just not... Not really uh, to my liking there. Uh, they're, they're, they're changing a whole bunch of shit, and it's just, I don't know, it's just, it just seems counterintuitive to, you know, a, a community platform that is supposed to encourage video game streaming. And it slowly seems like they're less giving a shit about the, the streamers and more just about the money, which I get it they're a business but in the same token without your streamers you do not have a business you know if you don't treat your streamers well you will not have a business to make money from and, and i think that's where youtube you, youtube has it right uh gi giving uh people like a good even split like uh, well a good split i think it's like 70 30 uh, from the, for the revenue uh, from ads and things like that and from everything else um, but Yeah, so I'm still tossing up whether or not I want to uh, Stream on twitch or if I just want to stream on YouTube. I will be starting to do streaming next week uh, I'm gonna pick a few days a week to do some streaming so It'll probably end up being here and it will probably end up being in the evening for a few hours and, uh, you know, it'll be fun. You know, I know the evening is when most of you guys tend to be up and about. Like, the evening, my time, is when a lot of you guys tend to be up and about. Um, so, you know, could, could be cool. Uh, could be quite cool. Uh, doing some, uh, doing some live streams. It's always good. Always good. I did consider having a second channel just for, you know live streaming you know scotty c93 live but nah i don't have a large enough audience to warrant having a second channel that is an extension of this channel just for live streaming i i, I just can't i can't uh I, I i just can't justify it yet maybe in the future you know once i <laughs> if i ever get big enough then maybe but probably not Probably won't. That's fine. That's all good. I mean, I was hoping to get a little bit of a. I was hoping to get a swirly, even a small one. Like even even like a, even a you know. Oh, I say small. They are like 50 PED. The swirls from these guys are 50 PED. So. I mean, a swirl would be good because it would pretty much make the the run at least break even. But. Yeah. You can't always get what you want, and we're gonna go that away because that away is where more maphoids are. More maphoids. So, one thing that I'm gonna be doing in the future is I'm gonna be getting myself a nice, nice sword. I'm gonna be getting a, uh, uh, either a sword or a dagger. I'm thinking about getting. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about getting the Akis, getting an Akis Fire Dagger. 
because, you know, I want to do some melee stuff as well. So there might be some hunting in the future where it's just, uh, you know, where it's melee. <laughs> did my voice just crack then? <laughs> I think it did. <laughs> I think it did. Oh, man. See, I'm not used to record. I'm not used to recording, uh, you know, now. So I gotta, I gotta retrain my voice to do the whole recording bizzo. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But <laughs> it's what it is. It is what it is. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be getting a knife. Uh, probably an Akis fire dagger. May actually maybe the uh, the elect the the shock dagger maybe the shock dagger might be better i did use the shock dagger for a little while because uh, i borrowed it off of uh i borrowed it off of uh law spade hey law spade shout out to you my man uh so yeah i did borrow the knife off of law spade have thought about asking me if i can borrow again for a little while um but then again i might as well just get my own knife and tear up my own knife you know which would be pretty cool um of course i would have to like i would have to get a an amp as well like a melee uh, trauma amp as well just to just just to bulk it out a little bit just to bulk it out but the, the main reason why i want to do it is just so i can uh, apparently knife like one of you guys commented on a video ages ago um saying that you know the best thing to use to increase your health, like best weapon to grind to increase your health is knife, you know, short blades. So, might as well. And and for a while there, it, it did actually increase my, I think uh, over the space of a week, I increased my health by like three points. And usually it would take me, you know, a couple of months to increase my health by even one point uh, from hunting with, uh, with lasers and stuff like that, but, uh, but, with that comes a, a little bit of a, not a caveat, okay, so, these knives, they, because they don't have ammunition, they've obviously got higher decay, uh, because that's where the cost comes from, and, and a lot of people do the whole, oh, but the decay is huge, it's like, yeah, but you're not using ammunition, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, you can't, just, you gotta have, you gotta, you gotta give at least, have at least one, like, one thing or the other. Uh, you know, it's, <laughs> it, it is what it is at the end of the day, you kind of need to have one or the other. It's either going to be decay or it's going to be, um, or it's going to be ammunition, you know, um. And, and someone did say, you know, just wait and get a weapon, like, get a short blade that uses ammunition but they like an unlimited one but they're so fucking expensive man to find a short blade or you know a sword as well that you like an unlimited one that's not level 100 that uses ammunition is it's it's a bit difficult it's a bit difficult uh, it's it's very expensive it's very expensive so, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather spend money on the, um, you know, like the Akis Fire Dagger or the, the Shock Dagger. I did think about just grinding up my, uh, grinding up my skills with the TT Knives, uh, and then getting the Akis Fire Dagger because, you know, that's got like, you know, it's like 50 something DPS. And then, you know, if I attach a trauma amp to it, the efficiency, I think, goes up to around about 65. Which, you know, isn't the great... Like, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. Um, and considering it will help me skill up my health, like, get my health up, uh, it, I think it's a, a good... I think it's a good investment, but I'm not sure. And, and of course, because it is decay... I need to be a little bit more on the nose when it comes to my loot. So it would essentially be TTing or trying to sell shrapnel for a uh, hundred point five to someone, and then using what I get from that to repair it, and then rinse and repeat. 
you know, obviously if you've got a fat stack of PED, uh, that would be a better option. You use the, you know, your balance to repair it over and over and over again. And then hopefully you come out with more, uh, you know, when, once you've sold your loot, you come back with more PED than what you put in. And, you know, there, there is... Like, there, there is a, um... A little bit of a thought that... If you're able to... Like, if you've got... Let, okay, let's say I get the... Let's say I get the shock dagger, right? I think it's like... A hundred and... Something PED. 112, 120. Something like that. Worth, like, uh, of, of, uh... Total TT, right? So if I go out with ten times that amount... So let's say it's a... I think it's a, maybe 120. I could be wrong. Oh, uh, uh, 10 PD Shraddy. And some tier 4 components. Nice. I like that. We got 72 shots left. So we should be able to kill a few more. Which is always nice. Uh, but, so if I go out with... Um, go out with the knife. And let's say it's a 120... PD, and then I go out with an extra 1,200 PD in my ped card, and then once the dagger is down, I go and, uh, what's the word? I go and repair it. I go and repair it, go back out, kill whatever mob I was killing again, repair it again, and sort of rinse and repeat, uh, and then... You know, once I've once I'm down to no PED, hopefully, as long as I've been as long as I've been hunting something, you know, that gives decent markup stuff. You know, I could sell the shrapnel for one hundred point five percent, and then sell the uh, like as long as the stacks are large enough for me to actually sell the loot, like. Could it kind of come out as, as as a profit? I don't know. These are the things that I got to think about. Um, but we're we're we're. I rec I, re I think we're done here. We got I got a little message. I'll look at that afterwards because it could be uh, could be could be someone else. I'm gonna be given DM Zone uh, a little bit little bit of a little bit of a prezi. Uh, not nothing much. I'm gonna be giving him a little bit of a prezi. So I'm gonna be going over to. The Arcadia Moon at uh, one point, just, 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 just to help him out because DM Zone, I really like his content and I like his style of videos, but due to the fact that he is a free-to-play player, um, and like due to the fact that he's a free-to-play player, and the fact that YouTube, like due to YouTube's current stuff, he can't make e even even like little peanuts, you know, you know. For, like an extra, you know, 40 bucks a month or whatever, you know, get paid every two, three months, you know, to go towards whatever the hell he wants, you know, because, because he's, because of, uh, YouTube's current bollocks, you know, he can't do that, so I just feel like I want to give him something, because he, he's provided quite a bit of entertainment for me, uh, quite a bit of good content for me to look at and go, hell yeah, man, uh, let, let's, let's go to Chug's hideout, <laughs> Chug's hide out, and uh, we're going to come out at a, at a loss, um, just because we've burned through uh, 10 PD in that. I didn't repair my armor from my stint over at Monria, so I I don't. What what is what is it? What is the decay at? 5.47. So yeah, 5.47. I don't know what the decay was at, but. I, I was getting hit by those guys for a couple of hours, you know, big swarms, so I probably only burnt, I don't know, half a PED doing this little hunt, but anyway, let's have a look at what we got, and we shall assess, so we'll pop this in here, and this in here, and this in here, so, in, in, in TT value, we got, uh, 48 PED, so, Minus the 10. It'll say minus 10 for decay and stuff, so... 38 out of 60. Uh, but the market value of this stuff isn't too bad, so that's... An extra 7. 
So let's say an extra six on top. So 38, 30, 45. So we're down about 15 PED. And, but here's the thing. And this is what I was saying earlier. It, it, this is not indicative of what it's actually like, right? Like if I was to, uh, if I was to decide I'm going to hunt Maphoids today, I would record a 60 PED video and then I would go out and blow like an extra thousand PED hunting them and I'd probably come out at around about 95, like 90 to 95%, possibly even turning a profit thanks to, you know, things like the tier 4 components. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to be leaving it there for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one.